Hello, you wonderful, powerful, positively inspired people. This is Chris Monroe. Thanks for tuning in to Footsteps of Greatness. I'd like to share a deeply personal story, a story about how my life transitioned from going exactly where I intended it to be to an unfortunate place of tragedy. This happened a little over a year ago. I was in a car accident where I suffered a concussion. Unfortunately, this concussion left me with a long-term vision issue that to this day still is unresolved. At that point in time, I was able to use a computer 12 hours a day or more, doing exactly what I loved. I was leading a wonderful team of extremely talented IT professionals doing exactly what I dreamed of doing. I was exactly in a place in the career growth on the trajectory of everything I dreamed of. Unfortunately, this tragedy took that skill and ability to sit in front of a computer from 12 hours a day or more to I'm unlucky if I can do two to three hours a week at this point in time. Now, I'm not sure you really understand. That is changing everything about who I was or I thought I was as a person a year ago. During that, the last year, I've been able to get to a point where I, I understand that this accident was for a reason. In the moment of that tragedy, I kind of realized life was going to transition, but I didn't know it was going to completely change who I was at the core of my being. As this process has gone on, I've seen some dark, dark, difficult times. From struggling to enforcing myself and, and getting up every day saying, I can do this, I can be who I used to be. Every time I turned that computer screen on, a headache would ensue. I now go weeks and weeks without even trying to look at a computer screen because I understand that that's not going to help me heal and get back to what I was at one point in time. So now I'm forced to kind of figure out who I can be, who am I capable of being. I had to go back to what I did best as an IT professional. I started off not with a college degree. I actually started off in college with a full scholarship, lost it due to academic inactivity and ended up filling out of school. I was a college dropout that somehow got to the point in my career that was exactly where I intended on being. I have friends that are still trying to get to that point and I would like to help everyone get there. But for me, I, I really had to dig deep and understand what took me from that college dropout to a successful leader in the IT world. As that transition of thought slowly happened, I slowly rediscovered a skill that I forgot and almost took for granted my entire life. The skill that really took me to my heights of my IT career was not a computer screen. It was not just my natural ability to work with computers and help others benefit through using computers and teaching and inspiring and all the wonderful things that I did. It wasn't just through a computer screen. It was the skill that I've been working on cultivating since a young kid. It was the skill of motivating. It was the skill of uplifting, inspiring, teaching, and helping others live the life of their dreams. So for me, IT was just an outlet. As I slowly realized that the best part of me still existed, had gone nowhere, I struggled to find ways to let that outlet out. Again, I went back to the computer screen. It did not work. Headaches, half-finished projects, all of it ensued. Towards the end of last year, I was really struggling, going into that dark place again, trying to figure out how I was going to get this story inside out. As I fell asleep one night, I went to sleep with the intention of finding the person inside that needed to exist going forward. Interestingly enough, I had a dream. In the dream came a relative that meant a lot in life. Now, every, everyone's always meant something to me, but this particular relative was someone that didn't always say much, but it was a story that connected with my heart that evening. I sat down, I remember sitting down in this dream and saying, I miss you so much, thank you. Thank you for gracing me with your presence. In this dream, there was one message that I remember. Chris, keep walking in the footsteps of greatness. From that point in time, I realized my mission. My mission was to carry out the mission I started a year and a half ago before this accident happened. I set a goal of sharing positive motivation and uplifting the world around me. When the accident struck, I suddenly felt unable to find that person. But having that one moment, that one connection to remind myself of who I was in the past, I started to unlock and unleash a different potential. I thought that I needed to have great, wonderful, 
editing skills on a computer to make videos. Instead, I just do what I can. I edit on my phone instead of worrying about a computer, doing the things that I cannot do. I worry about living myself to the standard of living that will get me to where I want to go regardless of where I'm starting. The thing that I've come to realize is that the true greatness inside can never, ever, ever hide. That greatness is a story that must come out. There's no way, not a single way that I can allow a day to go by without le letting this story out. My capabilities are such a fraction of what I used to be before, but my output is at a higher quality than it's ever been. So whatever struggles, whatever difficulties you're facing in life, I understand more than ever. Trust me, I understand. But along the way, remember, every difficulty, every struggle is there for you to remember that you're standing in the footsteps of greatness. You're walking down the road to realizing your dreams. So wherever you are today, whatever struggle, whatever difficulty, whether it's a concussion, a, a genetic disorder, live up to the standard that you set for yourself. No one can define the greatness. No one can help you live your purpose like you. There may be people telling you what you cannot do in life, but there's a mission inside, I promise, that's gonna show you what your purpose and what you can do in life. I encourage you, live your dreams, live your purpose, let the greatness inside shine out like the brightest lighthouse on the darkest night. There's nothing that's gonna stop you from living your purpose. Have a wonderful, positive, inspired day. This is Chris Monroe with Footsteps of Greatness. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope you follow the page at Footsteps of Greatness on Facebook, Instagram, all social media. We're going to be connecting soon. Let's have a wonderful, powerful, positive, inspired journey down the road to realizing our dreams. We are standing in the footsteps of greatness on that journey to getting exactly everything we've ever dreamed of. Continue walking with me as I realize the dreams inside of me and I help you realize the dreams inside of you. Let's walk down this journey together. Let's continue realizing our dreams. We're already standing in the footsteps of greatness. Have a wonderful day. This is Chris Monroe. We'll talk soon.